if you drew a Venn diagram of what a producer does, and uh, there would definitely be a shaded area uh, that are agent skills inside that producer, producerial Venn diagram. Now, I was a literary agent, so I handled screenwriters, directors, and producers. Um, so even more so, the skill set that I developed as an agent uh, was uh, significant in terms of being able to be a successful producer. Now, a lot of agents have tried it, and it didn't work. Uh, fortunately for me, uh, it did work. Uh, but in representing writers, directors, and producers, I was following the process from uh, an idea all the way through the release of the picture. So I would be engaged in all of that in terms of the process uh, by virtue of the fact that if you're representing writers and they have ideas, now you're trying to sell the idea and you're trying to get it to a place of getting made and released. Uh, director will generally come into the process a little later, but not always. I represented a lot of writer directors, so it started out as an idea in the ether, and that person was able to take it all the way through as a movie as a writer director. Producers, of course, uh, you know, I was aging for some very, very successful producers, and I helped them get their movies made, I helped them get material. So a lot of that was uh, very similar to what I was doing as an agent. Now, on the other hand, you're much more hands-on with the entire process as a producer, which as an agent, some clients let you into that process more than others let you into. Um, and, uh, but you have a, a legitimate seat at the table as a producer, uh, your voice is heard. It doesn't mean that, that uh, people are gonna agree with you or actually make the changes you're requesting, uh, but at least you have a seat at the table and at least you can present your argument and have it be auditioned. Uh, and if it's the best idea, uh, then it'll win. And if it's not the best idea, you move on. Um, so uh, it was very valuable. The people skills of understanding uh, people is very, very important in what I do and understanding, a deep understanding of people's motivations about where they may be coming from, standing inside uh, their shoes for a moment so you can understand their point of view, even if it's diametrically opposed to your own. And uh, you try to find common ground. Uh, so uh, there is a certain amount of diplomacy to being able to do that. Uh, that some people have that, some people don't. Um, so uh, it's, uh, it's an endlessly fascinating uh, uh, profession. It's always changing. Each project has its own uh, challenges, if you will. And uh, you have to figure out how to overcome those challenges. But they're, even though they're generically the same in many ways, they're specifically very different in the film business as in many other businesses all businesses you have your uh, narcissists okay who really don't care about your point of view um <laughs> and you have people with a great deal of empathy um and everybody in between also as an agent you see um people under a, with stakes very high and stress very high and you see how they behave and, they, and you see how they treat people. Um, so it is, uh, you know, quite the education as well. And you, um, you know, as an agent, I may have my own personal feelings about some behaviors, but you know, you're representing the client. I mean, I'll only go so far. I'm only gonna do so much for a client representing them. I'm not gonna, you know, be a servant to every one of their wishes if it, uh, you know, breaks a certain, uh, you know, line of integrity or honesty that I have for myself, which is, 
actually um, uh, very acute, very acute. Uh, you know, if you lie to me, you're out, okay? Um, and uh, uh, so I've, I've been able to be very, very transparent. Uh, but like when I say it's a deal breaker, it's a deal breaker, you can never come back. People use deal breaker uh, too casually. Uh, and then someone says, okay, the deal's, oh, oh, I didn't really mean it. But for me, there's a language that we use. And when I use that language, I need to be able to have the person across from me speaking the same language. So once I say deal breaker and they want to move on, then it's over. And you can never come back to me uh, once that happens.